Hi, my name is Jamie Thompson and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrates the capabilities of Cozy Rock Software's suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. The demonstrations herein were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2008, however the Cozy Rock tasks and components are available for both SQL Server Integration Services 2005 and 2008 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about Cozy Rock's Secure File Transfer Protocol task, or SFTP for short. SFTP, as I'm sure many of you know, is a secure version of the popular FTP protocol. Uh, what it actually does is put an extra layer of encryption across the data, the files and the commands that are sent over an FTP link. What we're going to do, first of all, is install Cozy Rock's SFTP task. We'll go to Choose Items. SSIS control flow items and scroll down and here we find the SFTP task and there we go it's installed into our toolbox for us in order to demonstrate the SFTP task what I've done is installed a secure FTP server on my local host so we're just going to go and have a look at that. I've got a shareware tool here called FileZilla which enables me to connect uh, to that SFTP server. I'm just going to disconnect and go through the connection. Now as I say, I've got it installed on my local host. My username is Jamie. Password I'm not going to tell you. And the port is 22. If I hit connect on that, we're up in a connection. And we're now connected to the SFTP server that is actually running on my local host. Now it's not much of a demonstration to connect to an SFTP server running locally, but you can imagine that this could be an SFTP server anywhere in the world that we might have access to. Now over on the right hand side here we have our details of our remote site. If I open that there is a folder in there called source files and actually in that source files directory we'll find that there, there are actually four files and those are the ones that we're going to transfer over to our local machine using our SFTP task in SSIS. Okay, I'm going to reduce that. What you can see on the screen here are two Explorer windows. On the left hand side we actually have a local folder but this is a folder that our SFTP server is looking at. You can see we have four files here. Over on the right hand side is the folder that we're actually going to transfer these files into. Okay, now I've shown you around the SFTP server that we're going to connect to and the folder that we're going to transfer some files to locally. Let's actually have a look at our SFTP task. Our Cozy Rock have provided this SFTP task for us. Now what they've also provided is a connection manager that we can use to specify the connection to the SFTP server. If we right click down here, go New Connection, scroll down you'll see we have an SSH connection manager and that's what will manage our connection to the secure FTP server. We'll click add the host as we already know is localhost port is 22 username Jamie and enter the password as well. Let's test that we can connect test connection succeeded okay great so we can verify at design time that the server that we're going to attempt to connect to is actually there for us. Click OK. I'm going to give this a sensible name. Now let's go into our SFTP task. We have a number of actions available to us. These are all operations that you would typically get with an SFTP client. We can send some files. We can receive files, we can 
create remote directories, we can remove remote directories, delete remote files, rename remote files, and get a list of those remote files that exist. In this case, what we're going to do is receive some files. We have to specify where we're actually going to place those files when we've got them, and we specify that in this local parameters section. Now, in this case, I've got the location that we're going to transfer the files to stored in a variable. That variable is called local path. I've already set it up in advance. That's already configured for us. In the lower section in our remote parameters, we have to specify the details that the SFTP task needs in order to connect to the SFTP server. Our FTP connection is quite easy. We just pick the connection manager we specified earlier. In the remote section, we actually have to tell it what files it's going to actually go and get. So if I click this button here, we actually get a design time experience where we can see the folders that exist on that server. We open up our source files. We can't see the files in there, but what we can do is specify them using a wildcard. So I'm going to get all the TXT files that exist on that server. Click OK on that, and click OK on our SFTP task. It's validated, and I think we're good to go. So let's just check out again exactly what's going to happen. On the left-hand side, we have a folder that has been surfaced by our SFTP server. It's got four files in it. On the right-hand side is the, file, uh, the folder that we're going to transfer them into. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's execute. And it shouldn't take long. We've got a successful execution. We'll stop that. Minimize that again. And over on the right hand side, you can see that we have our four files. They've successfully been transferred into the folder that we specified. That's the SFTP task. I hope that's been a useful demonstration to you, and I hope you find it useful in the future.